Yo, yo. This is gonna be probably my last video about side order before it actually comes out. Because uh, I don't really want to milk the whole side order thing. Like, oh my god, side order. I need to make a whole video on this one pixel in frame number 32 in the new uh, trailer or whatever. Also, I'm a bit under the weather, so if my voice sounds different, uh, that is why. Uh, hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. Hopefully it's still bearable. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about side order and like, really just all of my ideas, opinions, theories, whatever else. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long, but I just wanted to compile it all before, you know, I experience it all. What is it, two weeks from now? I feel like this DLC is gonna be really important to the longevity of Splatoon 3 specifically because, I mean, I think as the developers said, like, or Nintendo, I guess, as Nintendo or the developers said, this is kind of wrapping up a lot of Splatoon's current storyline and a lot of, like, that, um, single player stuff that we've been seeing. With that in mind, I really hope they actually, like, put the time and care into the side order, uh, DLC. And honestly, without a doubt, they have. I have zero doubt that this is going to be a good DLC and, like, it's going to be well worth the wait it has taken to actually, you know. Uh, it's going to be well worth the time they've put in into this DLC. Um, and I definitely think it's going to be worth the money they've put in, especially with all of the, uh, roguelike stuff that they've been talking about. They're emphasizing replayability. It's basically like how Samurai originally came to Splatoon 2. It was like a whole new mode. It really livened up the game. And I feel like side order has to be that. And like I said, I, there's no doubt in my mind that it's going to be that. But if they really do drop the ball in this and they let people down, like I am genuinely kind of concerned for the longevity of this game um, but I'm sure it'll be okay I, I have zero doubt that it will be a good DLC and all that stuff and on top of that a lot of people have been saying this is going to be the wrap-up of the Splatoon 3 story and I mean I'm like I'm not gonna argue with the developers I'm pretty sure they actually said that themselves but I don't think it's like the definitive end um, like we're never gonna see these characters again or whatever because that just doesn't feel like something Nintendo would do really I don't think that they would really like just drop like how many characters do we have now that are important to the story like 18 20 something like I don't think they're just gonna drop them and we're never ever gonna see them again I'm sure they're gonna appear somewhere somehow I'm sure what Cali Marie deep cut whatever Splatoon 2's off the hook yep off the hook uh, I'm sure we're gonna see all of them again after this but they're gonna be taking more of a background sort of vibe I mean, I mean they've been taking a background vibe in splatoon 3 already uh off the hook specifically i don't i don't think at all that this is going to be the last time we see any of those characters at all but yeah in general i don't really think we're going to never see these characters again i don't think that's anything nintendo even considered doing at all it just doesn't feel like something they do at all <laughs> oh and another thing i wanted to add is like i really vibe with um, kind of the setting they've been going with in uh, side order. I feel like the idea of a simulation is something like we haven't really seen in Splatoon. I mean, I've, I feel like it's personally, it's been like kind of overdone and like uh, troped to death, if you will, in like movies and uh, other video games or whatever, like, oh, it's all a simulation or it's all a dream. But I really genuinely do believe that side order has what it takes to like put a good spin on it, especially with the characters they've been wrapping into this, like really smart, really intelligent characters such as Marina that are kind of at the head of this whole story. I mean, we don't even know what she's doing. The only real mention we've seen of her is like in a poster and on the side of a can <laughs> in the in the trailers or in the videos. So I really do wonder what she's going to be doing. And it's just like such an interesting world that they're crafting. And I really kind of like how they've been kind of keeping us in the dark. Um, you know, this is like my first sort of big release of a Splatoon thing. Uh, on this channel or like experiencing it on a channel you know like you know cameras rolling mics on all that stuff we're counting down the days you know i'm definitely really interested to see what'll happen um and so is all of you because this is kind of this is kind of it you know after after side order drops the game needs to vamp like ramp up substantially it like they can't just slow down here it needs to continue and i really do hope they go for a third year of content um, but you know with switch 2 rumors not to be like not to put on my tinfoil hat here 
or anything because I don't want to get into this whole Switch 2 mess. But like, it, it's pretty obvious the Switch 2 is coming soon. Like, the Switch's lifetime is almost over. I don't think that they're gonna... Unless they move Splatoon 3 to the Switch 2, which I honestly think is a pretty high possibility. I don't think we're gonna get a second year or a third year, but I'm hoping for it. Like, I feel like all of the evidence points toward there not being a Splatoon or like a second or sorry, a third year of Splatoon. I hope there is. I hope they, you know, pull, pull the cat out of the bag. I think that's how you use that phrase and just kind of surprise us with a third year because I mean, it makes sense, you know, Splatoon 2 had two years of updates, Splatoon 3 should have three years of updates. I mean, it only makes sense. And I feel like it always has felt weird when a Splatoon game just stopped getting updates, like nothing. It's just kind of like a weird limbo state while you're waiting for the next game or, you know, really anything Splatoon related. I feel like in Splatoon 2 especially, it dropped off super duper much. Super duper much. That doesn't, that's not even a coherent sentence, but you, you, you get what I mean. Um, like, even with the Octo expansion coming out in Splatoon 2, like, the game dropped off substantially after the duct tape stopped. And I really don't want that to happen to Splatoon. I do genuinely enjoy this game. That's why I've been making videos on it. Otherwise, I would have probably done something else. Um, or even not made this channel at all. As I've already said, totally going to be filming all of the side orders main story. And I'll probably also end up 100%ing it, because I've actually 100%ed every single story mode that has been released, other than Splatoon 1, because I actually started playing Splatoon uh, on Splatoon 2. So um, there's that, I guess, you know, a bit of a completionist when it comes to Splatoon stuff, I guess. But yeah, I'll definitely be 100%ing it, if there even is like a way to 100% it, because, you know, replayability and all that stuff. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there will be plenty of stuff to do within that DLC that'll affect multiplayer and all that stuff. And speaking of multiplayer, I do hope that the rewards for side order are going to be really good, really interesting stuff. That's going to be really well sort of wanted by the community. I know a lot of people have been kind of talking about getting the Splatoon 2 lobby as well as maybe some other customization options such as the um, sort of tint on Agent 8's hair uh, or the ends of Agent 8's hair in the trailers and whatnot and i totally think that all that stuff is po a possibility if i put myself into nintendo shoes like i would definitely think they're going to add or let me rephrase if i was nintendo i would definitely add the splatoon uh splatoon 2 lobby as a um just like a base level reward on top of something else of course because i mean uh, yeah it's cool they have the splatoon 2 lobby but you know you're gonna want something else on top of that because no one's gonna play through the entirety of side order just to get the Splatoon 2 lobby. I mean, as cool as it is, that's there's gotta be something else there. Oh hey, small fry, how's it going? Hey buddy. <laughs> um, I totally just lost my train of thought from doing that. For a side order story, like I'm really, really hoping there's gonna be something related to Agent 8 as a person or inkling, octoling, I guess. Uh, because they're not really humans. But you get what I mean. I really hope that it has something to do with sort of that whole thing. Um, obviously, there's going to be some leaning in toward it because obviously she's the main character from what we've seen so far. And I do hope as well that, you know, Oct, Pearl, Marina, whatever else characters we see, especially that weird looking squid mantis dude we've seen in the newest uh, image and promo art stuff. I think it should be about her, especially uh, Agent 8, I mean. And just like her whole ideology, PTSD of, you know, being a soldier forced to do things that maybe she didn't want to do. I mean, isn't that really what Octavia did? But not really. I don't know. I'd have to brush up on my lore stuff for sure. Uh, big, big into Splatoon lore, guys. I don't know if y'all know that, but, but I'm big into it. I kind of wanted Side Order to actually lean more into the human aspect as well. But considering we've kind of gotten that with After Alterna with the uh, whole rocket ship stuff and whatnot, I kind of doubt that there's going to be a lot of human influence. And by human influence, I mean like, oh yeah, this was a special research facility or whatever. The simulation was created by humans or whatever. Um, that sort of stuff. Because I always like hearing about that stuff in Splatoon 3. And I always do find it interesting. I always like hearing about what humans did before, you know, the age of Inklings, the age of Cephalopods. Um, I always found that part of the lore and whatnot to be very interesting and um, super diverse, actually. One of Splatoon's story is definitely, like, one of the most interesting storylines I've ever seen. 
but it's so underexplored within the games. I feel like they could totally do more, and I really hope Side Order kind of tops it, especially considering it's like the capstone to the entire current story's uh, story, really. Whatever villain they're adding, because obviously there's going to be an antagonist, we just don't know who it is. I really hope whoever that antagonist is, is someone that we haven't seen yet, or someone who's going to take a turn. I know some people said that they don't want Tartor, Tartor, Tartar, and uh, or Mr. Grizz to be the villain, and I'm sort of inclined to agree with that, although I would like to see more of them. I don't think their place is within side order. I mean, I feel like we can pretty much rule out Mr. Grizz. I mean, he's floating in space somewhere and he's already been in a Splatoon 3 storyline. So if he made it back into side order, I would be very surprised if Mr. Grizz made it back into side order. And if Commander Tartar made it back into side order, I would also be equally as surprised because his character sort of um, exploded in the Nil statue. Um, so I doubt he's coming back, and as well, I feel like he's been mostly explored, like, um, I watched a video by someone, I totally forget their name, um, but they kind of said, like, Tartar's really only just an AI, he just wants humans to come back, uh, and that his motivations are gonna be the same, no matter what, because, I mean, he's an AI that wants humans back, and he doesn't like squids and octopuses, uh, being sentient and whatnot. So, I don't think his motivations would change. And honestly, I'm inclined to really believe that person. Uh, I'll hopefully put their YouTube channel on screen uh, if I can find them again. They actually inspired me to make this video, so uh, shout out to them. I'm sure the villain is going to be someone interesting. I, honestly, it's very likely that that uh, blue guy that we've been seeing in the promotional art that I mentioned earlier probably will be him. I mean, he's there for a reason. No, that's that's all we know, really. He's there for a reason, we know. Agent 8's there, Octa's there, Pearl is there, Marina is there. Uh, possibly Agent 4, which is a whole nother thing I actually want to get into after this. There's definitely some stuff they've been cooking up and brewing in there that I really hope will be good. Speaking of Agent 4, let's talk about her now, I guess. Oh my god, man, if they add Agent 4, I feel like it would just be perfect because they've kind of explored uh, Splatoon 2's agent, I think, if I'm correct an Octo expansion and really the only other agent that's missing that hasn't been really fully explored is um, Agent 4? If I'm correct, I've actually messed that up in the last video. Hey, uh, editor, it's second here. Um, I really start messing up the agent names here, so I'm just gonna re-clarify what I say here and then just skip past it. Basically what I'm trying to say here is that Agent 3 from Splatoon 1 has had three stories about her and Agent 8 has had two stories about her, uh, Octo Expansion and um, the upcoming Side Order. And really, the only character that we haven't had a second story on is Agent 4 from Splatoon 2. Basically, it would make a lot of sense for Agent 4 to be in Side Order, because then it kind of balances out the scales for everyone, having like equal amounts of play in each story. Um, so hopefully I got the Agent names right this time. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I mean the very limited gameplay that we have been seeing with Side Order has been looking very promising as well as just super interesting to play. I've actually haven't really dabbled into the roguelike sort of game genre before, but with Splatoon kind of leading into it, it might be something I want to look into. I mean obviously I've seen gameplay, Binding of Isaac, um, Enter the Gungeon, that sort of stuff. It all, it all looks interesting, but it never seemed to be really my type of thing to play. But with Splatoon kind of dabbling into it, I'm sure I'll find it interesting. But because Splatoon is leading into it, I definitely think it's going to be super interesting to play. And obviously, m mostly everything that's come from the Splatoon devs at Nintendo has always been good. It's always been pretty decent quality. Um, I mean, some of the previous main game story modes have been kind of lackluster, especially notably Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2's story mode that came with the game. Um, I, I mean, I can't really comment too much on Splatoon 1, but I can tell you that Splatoon 2 is basically, from what I understand, Splatoon 1's story, but, like, they kidnapped Kali. That was really it. That was really the difference. They, didn't, they were kind of slacking on the single player there. But I feel like they kind of learned their lesson now. Uh, especially with 3, I feel like three story is so much better, miles better, um, than anything we've seen in Splatoon 1 or 2, excluding Octo Expansion, because that also has had its... That was definitely, like, the 
kind of cornerstone to all of Splatoon's story, really, and like the way they developed the story. I feel like they did a really good job with that. Uh, but okay, I think I've done enough yapping. Um, I really think, just to kind of sum up, I really think that Sidor is going to be a really good, a really good, really solid uh, DLC. I think it'll definitely be worth the price it is. And I definitely will be playing it. I'm still trying to figure out if I how I want to do the series. Obviously, it'll be broken up into different episodes, but I don't know if I want to release them weekly or just as I play, I'll release them. Um, especially, I have to figure out if I want them to be super edited and whatnot. Uh, maybe I'll do a poll. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of all my thoughts. I not, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. If I if I remember it, I'll insert it into the video for sure. But yeah, um, you know, side order is upon us. 222, just a few days away. I hope you guys all have a good day. And I guess um, I'll be seeing you when side order drops for sure. So yeah, peace out, guys.